All right, everybody. Like I said, I'm making salmon croquettes today, and this is what I'm going to be using. Not a lot of ingredients. I see I did forget the pepper, though. But I got some bell pepper and onion in there. Two cans of salmon, as you can see. Two eggs and my cornmeal. That's pretty much it. But I got to also get some black pepper. So stay tuned. And Okay. So I got to open this up, guys. And then I'm going to drain this. I decided to use this cayenne pepper, too, instead of just regular black pepper. Because I like mine a little spicy. Okay. But you guys know that you always have to clean clean the damn salmon okay so what i'm gonna do now is put this juice in another bowl because i was taught that you always keep the juice just in case you need more uh liquid in it if it's too dry so what i'm gonna do now is drain some of the juice keep some of the juice but i'm also going to put the salmon in this pot and pick the bones and the skin and stuff off so stay tuned in okay so now I'm about to put the salmon in this pot right here y'all oh it be messy it be messy look y'all see that skin I don't like this shit I do not like this so I gotta take this off okay I'll take that black skin off Try not to make a mess. I'm going to try hard not to make a mess. But to me, this skin makes the fish taste fishy. And I don't like that. I do not like fishy fish. <laughs> so, taking that skin off. Then I'm going to break it open because I'm going to try to find that bone. I think I found it. It's right here. See, everybody? See that? The bone right there? That shit got to go. I gotta go. I think I hope it ain't with no another one over here. It is too. Damn. It's a whole nother fuck. Okay. Gotta clean this shit, y'all. Still gotta clean it. Okay, that's good. Let me open this up and see. Alright, so let me do this the same way. Get that nasty skin. And this one ain't really have any black skin on it. That's kind of good. But I still like to take it off because it's nasty. Okay, here's the bone right here. You can see that. I got it. Got that out this time. Okay. Still getting the skin out. It wasn't dark skin, but it still was skin there. Shit, I don't like it. Okay. All right, so I am about to... Put all my little great ingredients in here, guys. So, stay tuned. Okay, everybody. Now, as you can see, I have my salmon here in the pot, and that's all. I have pretty much cleaned it. Took out the bones and the skin and stuff, okay? So, now I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. Okay. Bell pepper and onion. That's a lot, too. That's a lot. I don't know if I want to put that much down. That's a lot. Okay. Two eggs. As you can see here. All right. Oh, shit. I hope there's no shells getting here. Okay. And so, all right. And I'm going to put some cayenne pepper. Okay. Oh, shit. That's enough. That's a lot. Ooh. And a little bit of yellow cornmeal, guys, just to give it a little crisp. I don't want to put too much, though. Because I like to taste meat, not cornmeal. Okay, so now I'm going to mash it all up. Hope y'all can see this. It's still very wet. It's still very wet. So I'm going to have to put a little bit more cornmeal up in here. Because it's very wet. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. All right. Mm -hmm. I could have just used all this. All right. Use all that. Since it's already chopped up, may as well use it, right? Right. Okay. 
I think I got it the way I want it. Because I ain't going to just overload it with cornmeal. Shit, it's, it is a little moist, but I can feel the cornmeal in here. Okay. All right, so the next step, everybody, is to put it in the pan. These don't take long to cook. And I'll show that when I get the grease hot. So stay tuned in, everybody. All right. Okay, everybody, I'm about to put these little patties. As you guys can see, I like to make little bitty patty cakes. Good. I'm dropping on in there, y'all. Don't cook long. They don't cook long at all. All right, these are gonna be spicy, too. I always think I'm gonna, I always think I'm gonna hurt myself. Back and forth. Trying to get it, y'all. One more, and then I'm gonna let these cook. They don't take more like a minute on each side, and they're done. Should I be hating someone in there? Okay, got that in. I like mine flat, but I don't. I'm, I mean, I like them kind of meaty, but I like them kind of flat because I want them to be crispy. Okay, everybody, just stay tuned in for me actually eating these because I know they're going to be good. All right, everybody. Let's get ready, shit. Okay, y'all, I'm through. Now I can sit my butt down and eat. And they came out pretty good. Okay. That's what it's looking like right there. I only made four. I put the rest of the batter in the refrigerator because I'm not going to eat all this now. Okay, I'm really hungry. This is the first meal of the day, y'all. Yeah. Okay, I got the hot sauce right here, but um, kind of thinking, I don't know. I'm gonna taste it first, okay? And I got some fruit punch right here. Okay, everybody, I just have it propped up. I'm gonna, yeah, that looks better. I got it propped up on my little special uh, safe right here. The flavor, mmm, mmm, oh yeah, <sighs> definitely not using no hot sauce, because this cayenne pepper got it kicking, y'all. Ooh, we that's spicy. But you know what? I can put some ranch. Try some ranch on here, right? So I'm just going to eat this a little bit. Then I'm going to try some ranch. Mm. Mm. I'm leaning in. I'm <laughs> leaning out. Mm. Oh. I'm glad I put the rest of the... um. bell pepper and onion in there. It's got a phenomenal flavor. Phenomenal. Mmm. 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 Damn. Mmm. It's hot. It's spicy. <laughs> but it's good. Man. You know what? I think I'm just going to eat it, eat it like this. Because. <sighs> mm. Mm. Really don't need anything. Oh, my God. You know what, guys? Mm. My hair. It's too long. It's getting on my damn nerves. Like. When my shirt come up a little bit, I can feel my hair on my back. That shit is irritating. I got them rollers, though. I'm thinking of this time. Mm. See, look how long that is. Look. Long. It should be on my back. An itch. Getting away sometime. I think I'm going to 
boil my water and roll the ends that's down, roll them up. So now it'll be curly on the end. And that'll, that would make it shorter too. So. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's good, y'all. Mm. Mm. Something so simple and easy to cook got so much flavor. Now, I know that the bell pepper and onion is responsible for that, but wow really good <sighs> yes it's good okay let me get y'all a piece look it look it look it look it get it get it it's still steaming y'all Mm. Only thing about it is, I mean, it is the way I wanted it as far as being meaty inside. But next time, the next batch, I'm going to make them thinner so they can have that real crunch. I mean, it's crispy. See, it's crispy. It's very crispy. But that's on the outside. When you make them flatter, you get that crunch all the way around with every bite. So, I'm going to try that next time. That's how Uncle Lawrence make his. Flat. Fry hard. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm getting full already, y'all. I only ate one. Mmm. Shit. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. You know what I really want? I want I want me some quiche. I want some quiche so bad. I know it can't be that hard to make. It's just eggs and a pie crust, right? My mom used to make it when I was little. I loved it. So mm. I'm gonna ask her how to make it. And if it, I think I may make that maybe tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe this weekend. Okay. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Mm. Let me know what y'all cooking tonight and what y'all eating. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Mm, mm, mm. You know, when something be so good, all you can, like I was saying, when something is so good, all you can keep saying is, mm, mm, mm. But anyway, this is the last bite. Putting the rest up for later, y'all. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. Yum. Mm. Mm.